Hey everybody, Rick Gannon, handicapping thoroughbred racing for my hometown track. Penn National Racecourse, Grandville, Pennsylvania on Friday evening, August the 19th. And this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 this evening, folks. 7.38 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Mile 70 yard test on the dirt track. Three year olds and up race for a claiming purse of $14,000. Contenders number 4 are looking to get out. Number 2, roundabout. Number 1, gas house. And number 8, mystic harbor. Number four, we're looking to get out the pace profile leader in this claiming field. Racing at or about tonight's distance of a mile 70 yards on the dirt has produced a quartet of power runs in his last five outings, including back to back power run wins in his fourth and fifth races back. Jockey Rosario Montanez had been in his irons on ten previous occasions, hitting the board in six of those outings and winning three times en route to a positive. 67% return on investment in the process is back tonight here in Cranfield for ride number 11. Number two roundabout, the overall speed leader in this claiming field tonight, has produced a trio of power runs in his last three starts. Goes to the post with the skills of the jockey trainer, uh, the skills of jockey Sheldon Russell and trainer Mark Schumann in his corner. They fit the board with 76% of their entry settled as a team to date. Race five summary number two are looking to get out tops the contenders list which also includes number two roundabout number one gas house and number eight mystic harbor 4218 in the fifth from penn national bonus long shots canterbury park race four number seven tail of utopia nine to two in the morning line takes a monster class drop of 25 track mastery units excellent overall speed for this four and a half for a long sprint Mountaineer Park, race 10. The speed honors in this claiming field are shared by the 6 to 1 shot, number 6, Frost Watch, and the 12 to 1 bomb, number 8, Vision Impossible. So, from Penn National, on a Friday night, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.